Hi and welcome. Let's start by revising the standard size splat cube. So that's step one, step two, flip for step three. What about if we wanted to draw a half size cube? I've put some marks halfway along each edge and I'm drawing the first three lines just to those halfway marks. Now I'm using the center splat for the up lines. That's step one, just like before. Now it's step two, flip for step three. Don't worry if the lines don't meet up. I often round off the corners anyway, and don't forget these are guidelines. So here's a double size splat cube. And the sides and up. So notice each side is two splat lengths long, up at the side, two up in the middle as well. So that's step one finished. You could use a ruler for this as well, but I'm going to trace this off when I'm finished, so I'm not worried about it being a little bit rough. I'm going to trace mine. I'm using a bond pad. It's really thin paper. So I'll pop it underneath. Doesn't show up so well on camera, but it's quite easy to trace. The curves first, then the straight lines to match. Let's say I'm drawing a die. Use a pencil for some colour, light lines on top and darker at the side, an eraser to bring up the highlights. Here I'm going to draw a ribbon. So I'm using the splat angles, the left and the right, and then I'm using the edges to come down. I'm going to sketch in the shape of the box because it's hard for you to see behind. So I'm going to think of a shape for a ribbon. What I do is copy that curve over a little bit. Now some little end pieces of the ribbon. And to hide the middle, draw some sort of a shape. I'm going to use a star. I'm using a felt tip to trace over my pencil and then I'll rub out the pencil when it's dry. Trace the outline. I'm using a thinner felt tip to do shading and um, shadows. A little splash of colour really brings up a drawing. You could use a pattern as well. A little line to tidy up the bottom, a little shadow line as well. Here I'm tracing through the larger size cube. I'm using a rule, trying to work neatly to the corners. I'm going to draw a fish tank. A fish tank made of glass, you can see the inside and the outside edges. I'm going to mark in a water level. Someone please send in a drawing of a fish so I know how to do a better one than this. Okay, so a few bubbles on the surface help show where the surface is. Here's some blue to help suggest water. I've added some more details to my fish tank. I wonder what fun things you could add to yours. I'll see you next Thursday. If you'd like to see me draw something, add it to the comments below. Thanks, bye.